Hey everybody, it's Lou Russo. February, of course, is American Heart Month, and we want to make sure everybody has as much information as they can. I'm here with a very good friend, Karen Jordan from Asbury Park. How are you, Karen? Good. How are you, Lou? Doing great, thanks. So, National Wear Red Day is coming up February 2nd. Tell us um, about that and why it's important that everybody wear red. So, February 2nd is National Wear Red Day, and that is where everybody wears red, and we encourage people to, to help spread awareness about heart disease in women. So you have a very, very unique perspective on this, and you're willing to share your story with us and everyone else. So please tell us why this means so much to you. Uh, the reason it means so much to me is because uh, back in 2005, I suffered an aortic aneurysm, and I went through open heart surgery, and they replaced my um, valve with a titanium one, and then I had a stroke and was on life support for five days. I recovered from that, and then nine months later, to the day actually, I had my second open heart surgery, and I'm, right now I'm doing great, and I'm feeling good. Just and you want to get on. the word out there and make sure everybody stays as healthy as they can. The, the statistics and numbers for women and heart issues are pretty staggering. So it's important that we all get the word out and keep this on top of our mind, because if you are a woman or you love somebody who's a woman, this is really critical information for their health. Yes, and I don't think that women know that uh, it's the number one killer in women. And, and one in three women, one in three will be affected by heart disease in their life. And it can 80% of it is treatable or preventable with just diet and exercise and taking care of yourself. So let's get that word out there. And uh, National Wear Red Day, February 2nd, is a great way to get the conversation started yeah. or continue that conversation going. Now, people want more information on uh, the National Wear Red Day or the American Heart Association, how they get it. They can go to our website, which is heart.org. So let's everybody make sure February 2nd, we wear red, we talk about it, and we, uh, we get the word out about how heart disease affects so many women in our area, and we want to stay a step ahead of that.